Good morning, everyone. It's Dr. Michelle Drake at the Drake Center, and I'm here with Moki, our house cat, and I'm, but I'm really here to talk to you about dogs today. Uh, one of the most important uh, exams that we do here at the Drake Center is our six month or six to seven month old uh, puppy visit. And most dogs have completed uh, their, their vaccines at right around four months of age. And quite often, if, we're, if they've already been spayed or neutered at that point, or if they're gonna delay the, the spay or neuter till a little bit later in life, we miss a really critical time for a visit, and that's around six months. We kind of call that puberty for dogs. And the reason is that they truly are kind of going through a maturation process that does include some of the, uh, you know, the secondary sex characteristics that will occur uh, as they develop. Um, and these can be crucial times for um, noticing behavioral issues that may be coming on, um, weight gain and exercise patterns and diet and nutrition. These are the things, some of the things that we do discuss during the six month visit, but probably of all of them, the most important is behavior. So I'll start with that one. Um, people, you know, quite often you don't have more than a couple dogs in your lifetime. And so your experience with training is limited and your experience with behavior is limited. And you may have had a, a, let's say, a Labrador when you were a kid, and now you have a different Labrador as an adult with your own children. And this dog might be a very different dog from the one you got, and you do need to have maybe some help with what are some of the issues that you're experiencing and how are the best ways to manage those things. So having a more limited experience with the number of dogs, you're not going to notice when there are red flags, and that's what our job is to do. So during the six-month visit, again, things we're going to discuss would be weight, Super important with some of these large breed puppies who tend to uh, maybe grow a little bit too fast or gain weight a little bit too quickly, and we want to be really cautious of that. Or maybe they're not gaining enough weight, and we're going to talk about what we need to do to address the diet. Um, so diet, for sure. Uh, we're going to talk about other aspects of nutrition and some things that we may want to discuss if we're seeing any issues. Um, some of the large breed puppies, we want to make sure we have a good hip check somewhere between, you know, around that time at six months. Uh, that may involve taking an x-ray or not, depending on the dog and the breed and what the situation is, uh, because we can pick up hip dysplasia um, at about that point uh, for dogs that have a severe, severe case of it or even a less, less severe case of it. But this will also kind of lend itself to what sort of supplements we may recommend to keep those hips super healthy, what kind of exercise routine and nutrition that we're also going to recommend for those dogs. So these are really kind of critical things we want to catch at that time. So um, diet, uh, nutrition, including supplements sometimes, but not very often, but occasionally. Um, exercise, how much are we exercising? How is the puppy dealing with it? Um, and certainly training is gonna be a really big component. I assume at this point that we've had everyone do a puppy class and hopefully a beginning, um, the next step, you know, the next step after beginning puppy class, maybe next beginners or whatever the, you know, group you're working with, what they're gonna call those courses, but we highly recommend at least a minimum of two classes, two group classes. Uh, group classes are really important because this is a time when um, a puppy's going to learn to listen to you in amongst some chaos and also the uh, dog trainer will hopefully be able to identify some maybe issues that will help the dog with any anxieties or issues they may be dealing with too. Um, so behavior training is also uh, super important, exercise, nutrition, and then we're going to talk about spay and neuter, whether it's the time for your dog to have that spay or neuter done um, and what's involved in that. We quite often maybe we want to do some blood work for a baseline at around six months. Um, a baseline just health check for your your dog and um, and then just any other concerns that you may have that may come up during that time so these are some of the things we talk about um, super important stuff we don't want to wait till a year to catch those things if we're dealing with a dog that's starting to gain too much weight or having behavioral issues um, we want to catch those things at six months so we can make a plan to make sure that your uh, puppy does great for the next 15 years of its life